Look at that real girl. Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. I am doing something completely different today. I have never done this in my entire life. So today I am on a mission to catch my first ever river pike. So I've done a lot of pike fishing before, but only in canals and still waters. And I've done a lot of river fishing before, um, only really for chub, trout, salmon, etc. So I've never, believe it or not, caught a pike in a river. So today I'm hoping to change that. I've joined a new club, new stretch of river I've never fished before. I'm with Harry from Bang Average Fishing and I'm really looking forward to getting going. This river is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'll show you what gear we're using and then we'll get started. Oh, look at that reflection of the sky and the water. So the setup we're using today is the Rigged and Ready World Traveller Travel Rod with the Pen Spin Fisher 5 spinning reel on there. And I'll show you what lure we're using. So this is a Western top water thing. I'm going to be using this to start 15 grams. Just going to be drilling this around and see if we can use it to pick anything up. It's got a real natural pattern. Good old rattle in it too, if I do say so. So hopefully if they're in the mood for feeding on top then this might just do the trick. So that's Harry from Bang Average Fishing down there, nestled in amongst the, the foliage. I don't know to be honest, well obviously an educated eye would but I, it just seems bizarre to me that there's pike in rivers still just based on my own, the amount of hours I've spent on the canal catching pike and the amount of hours I've spent on rivers catching trout and stuff. I think the marriage of the two is going to be quite a special moment. So Harry reckons this bird here is an osprey. If we've got any bird of prey enthusiasts, let me know for sure. Look at that, that is a magnificent animal. So the top water bite is not really happening for me today, so I've swapped over to this. Now I'm not sure what this is called, but this is a Rapala jointed 11 centimeter um, lure. It's really good. I love the fire tiger color. I've had a few chucks of this and the action is just insane. It goes side to side like crazy. So I think today, if there's anything around, surely it's got to be having a crack at this. So just been working our way down this river and it's an absolutely beautiful place. I've never really fished a river that's this, this wide or deep, to be honest. Not for a long time anyway, so this sort of thing is completely new to me, but I have to say it is stunning around here. I'm absolutely loving it. So this lure I'm using now, I'll just see if I can show you the action. It is so dramatic how it's you can control its level in the wards quite easily but the movement even on a really slow retrieve is just all over the place i'm very impressed with this combo i've got going as well at the moment to be fair i'm getting a good amount of distance on a really light lure it's ideal for this scenario really look at that reflection of the sky on the water isn't that something <laughs> Harry keeps on telling me I don't have to cast far out, but that's not stopping me. But yeah, I can see how the pike love the margins on this river. It's lovely and deep at times. So my line has just gone. I've got a big pike on and I've only got 5% GoPro charge. I'm sorry about this. I actually didn't realise I didn't have my GoPro running. We don't have much time at all on film here. Not only just seen a glimpse of this fish. But your boy Harry's got a camera. But Harry's got a GoPro roll and hopefully this could well be my first ever river pike. That's a nice bite, that. Mm. 
<laughs> Never had a river pipe before. Oh, look at that real go. I'm sorry, sorry in advance if we run out of charge, but there's not much I can do about this situation. No time for a GoPro charge. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, mate. Here we go. Hoping that's big. You ready? Yeah. We got it. Get it up. Come on. What? Yes. What a slam. What a cracker. So this is by a country mile, the most powerful pike I've ever caught. This is a PB as well. It's a shame I'm not going to be able to get a weight on it, but I'd say this is a mid doubles, 15, 16 pound maybe. It's got an absolute back on it. Maybe about 90 centimeters no, or something. I'm not really sure about the actual size of that pike. To me, it felt a lot big, well, not a lot. It felt bigger than the last PB I had, which I did weigh, which was 14 pounds. So if you've not seen that, I'll leave that now. Enjoy and try and compare what you've just seen to that pike. And you let me know in the comments below if you think I've secured a PB. I reckon that was about 15 pound. And the last one that I had was 14 on the dot. It, uh, it didn't relax a bit, but it flooded. Yeah. Now it's out in there as well. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, there is perch, but I... Fish. Oh, please would you get that net for me? Thank you. Doesn't feel like a small one. Again, it's hard to tell. Maybe this is quite a nice fish, actually. Putting a fair bend in the rod. Usually the smaller ones come straight in. It does extend a bit if you need to. Whoa! <laughs> Get in! Oh, careful, 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 careful! Nice! <laughs> Keep it steady, I'm going to weigh it first. Just look at the belly on this fish. Well and truly filling out that big, big unhooking mat. So I've just caught this absolute monster. Got here in the snow earlier on. Fished for absolutely ages. Hands are absolutely freezing. No, no fish, not even a follow, not even a bite. This fish is an absolute carp eater. So just look at this for a fish. We'll get out one more time. What an absolute corker. Back off to the depth. Let me know below if you think the one I've just had's bigger. I can't believe how well this has gone, to be honest. This is my first ever time river fishing for pike. First ever time. And what a fish that was. I am over the moon. Moon? Moon. Huge shout out to Harry from Bang Average Fishing for putting me on this mark. If you haven't already followed him on YouTube, I'll leave a link below. You will not regret giving him a subscribe to. What an absolutely outstanding fish that was. I'm over the moon with that fish and there's a chance of another today, quite a good chance apparently according to our guide back there. So let's see if we can't catch another fish, maybe even another PB. So what we're doing now is we're just carrying on a bit further up the river. Harry's over there with a light set up targeting trout perch and chub on a spinner and I'm persisting with this big jointed lure hoping for another pike. How was that? That that was a jack. Oh. Tell you what, mate, I'm on flipping GoPro battery moments. Oh, we're in. Oh, he's off. I was just absolutely rattling that in, like really quickly to get to that bait, and then a pike just slammed that. Oh. So I've only just started filming Harry then because we had a little swirl off in that distance over there, and out of nowhere, where his spinner was, he just got creamed. Sorry mate, I thought I had a little pull then. I was just dragging it really slowly along the bottom. And just all of a sudden out of nowhere. Yes, Rom. Are you? Yeah. What is it? I don't know. I think it's a small perch. Yeah, it's a small perch. 
Need any, need no, I think we got him. He's not that small. That's a nice one, that. Hey, little perch on the spinner. Beautiful little guy. Right, let's get him back. <laughs> Kingfisher. See that? That was amazing. I might have even got that on GoPro then. I saw that so clearly then. That electric blue, it? Yeah, it's amazing. Well, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment, I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and I'll catch you down the road.